She is known for participating in debates about women's social, political, and religious condition in the early modern era. She is recognized for being the first philosopher to dedicate a significant body of work solely to the topic of women. Her name is Gabrielle Sukhan. In the bustling streets of 17th century France, a revolutionary voice emerged, challenging the traditional notions that confined women to the shadows of society. Gabrielle Sukhan, a remarkable figure ahead of her time, stepped forward as the protagonist in a battle for women's rights and freedoms. Born into a world dominated by male philosophers, Sukhan defied the norms of her era. With unwavering determination, she dedicated herself to unraveling the complexities of women's place in society. Sukhan's intellect and passion shown through her most prominent works, the Trait de la Moralité de la Politique and Du Celibate Volontaire. Quoted by historians as the first philosopher to dedicate a significant body of work solely to the topic of women, Sukhan fueled a new wave of feminism. Her writings encompassed thought-provoking arguments, challenging the prevailing belief that women were subordinate to men. She fearlessly advocated for women's natural rights of liberty, learning, and authority, insisting that women deserved the same opportunities as their male counterparts. Sukhan's uniqueness extended beyond her powerful words. Unlike other female philosophers of her time, she stood tall without a male intellectual advisor or husband, serving as a testament to her own intellectual prowess. Her ideas resonated with audiences, sparking a paradigm shift in societal perceptions of women's capabilities and calling for a reimagining of their role in the world. As the pages of history turn, Gabrielle Sukhan's enduring legacy continues to inspire generations of thinkers and feminists. Her contribution to the feminist movement echoes the philosophical concepts of liberty and equality, challenging societal structures that suppress women's voices. Sukhan's courageous spirit forged a path towards a more inclusive and equitable society, reminding us that women's rights are human rights worthy of pursuit. Gabrielle Sukhan, a remarkable philosopher of the 17th century, was born on December 24, 1632, in Cimarron-Auxios, France. Raised in a family of both privilege and public service, Gabrielle's parents instilled in her a sense of intellectual curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Her mother, Claude Mongan, hailed from a well-off, land-owning family, while her father, Claude Sukhan, served as the king's prosecutor until his untimely demise in 1645. Growing up, Gabrielle was exposed to the intricacies of the legal system and the workings of the French monarchy. These early experiences undoubtedly shaped her understanding of power dynamics and the complexities of society. However, it was not only her familial background that fueled her intellectual pursuits, Gabrielle possessed an innate passion for philosophy and a desire to explore profound questions about existence and morality. As a young woman, Gabrielle delved into the works of renowned philosophers of her time, seeking to understand the world and her place within it. She questioned the prevailing societal norms and challenged the traditional beliefs that constrained women. In her quest for knowledge and enlightenment, Gabrielle discovered a philosophy that resonated with her deeply. Hashtag quote hashtag. One famous quote attributed to Gabrielle Sukhan is, quote, slash quote. This quote encapsulates her belief that true freedom and happiness can only be achieved by embracing one's own individuality and rejecting societal expectations. In a time when women were often marginalized and their voices suppressed, Gabrielle's philosophy challenged the prevailing patriarchal norms and encouraged women to pursue intellectual and personal liberation. Gabrielle's philosophy has enduring relevance in our daily lives. It reminds us to question societal constructs and to embrace our true selves, free from the pressures of conformity. Her teachings encourage us to consider our own individuality, embrace diversity, and reject oppressive systems. By doing so, we can find authenticity, joy, and a deeper understanding of our own humanity. Gabrielle Sukhan, a remarkable philosopher of her time, embraced a self-taught education due to the restrictions imposed on women from attending public institutions. Barred from formal education, Sukhan took it upon herself to delve into the works of great thinkers such as Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Cicero, Seneca, and Plutarch. Her extensive studies spanned across the realms of ancient philosophy and contemporary literature, demonstrating her deep intellectual curiosity. Through her writings, Sukhan revealed her profound knowledge of holy scriptures and the teachings of notable philosophers. She skillfully incorporated the praise bestowed upon female qualities and figures by ancient philosophers to construct a persuasive argument advocating for women's equality. Sukhan's intellectual arsenal encompassed not only ancient philosophers but also scholastics like St. Thomas and St. John of the Cross, whose works she used to support her ideas. Even more impressively, Sukhan engaged with the feminist treatise, Of the Equality of the Two Sexes, by Francois Paulin de la Barre, offering thought-provoking responses to its assertions. 
Her ability to navigate and contribute to contemporary feminist discourse showcased her understanding of the evolving intellectual landscape. Deeply rooted in her own spiritual journey, Sukhan drew evidence from various chapters of the Bible in her influential work, Traite de la Morale et de la Politique. Raised in a convent during her early years, she was likely exposed to the religious teachings of a nun. However, as nuns were forbidden from directly interpreting scripture without male oversight, it can be inferred that Sukhan continued to expand her biblical knowledge beyond the confines of the convent. Her self-education allowed her to gain expertise not only in the Bible but also in classical and contemporary philosophy, freeing her mind from the constraints imposed upon her. Gabrielle Sukhan's commitment to self-education and her profound understanding of various philosophical and theological texts paved the way for her groundbreaking ideas on equality and morality. Her courage to challenge societal norms and her relentless pursuit of knowledge remain an inspiration to this day, reminding us of the power of education and critical thinking in shaping a more inclusive and enlightened society. Gabrielle Sukhan's adult life is a tale shrouded in mystery, with only fragments of information to piece together her journey. Official church documents provide glimpses into her whereabouts, while leaving much unanswered. It is said that after the death of her father in 1645, Sukhan found herself in the embrace of a Dominican convent in Seymour, where she would reside for over 20 years. The circumstances surrounding Sukhan's arrival at the convent in Seymour remain a topic of debate among historians. Some believe that her family's financial struggles led them to send her to the convent, seeking relief from their burdens. Others argue that it was her failure to secure a desirable marriage that prompted her placement within the convent's walls. Within the convent's sacred sanctuary, Sukhan delved deep into her philosophical musings and penned her thoughts on matters of divinity in human existence. She contemplated the purpose of life and the role of women in society, challenging the prevailing norms of her time. In her writings, Sukhan sought to empower women, reclaiming their rightful place as equals in a world dominated by patriarchy. Her philosophy delved into the interconnectedness of all life and stressed the importance of self-reflection and inner strength. Sukhan believed that individuals possess an innate moral compass, guided by reason and conscience. She emphasized the need for self-awareness and the cultivation of virtues, urging individuals to pursue their own path to fulfillment and happiness. While Sukhan's philosophical contributions largely went unnoticed during her lifetime, her ideas continue to resonate today. In our daily lives, we can draw inspiration from her teachings to navigate the complexities of existence. We can strive for self-empowerment, embracing our unique qualities and challenging societal limitations. By embracing introspection and cultivating virtues, we can find meaning and purpose, ultimately leading us towards a more fulfilled and authentic life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.